word. This person wrote, uh, came to Victoria. It's also yesterday, I guess. Came to Victoria Station with oh, whoever, their friend, at 5.30 to a wall of Palestinian flags. I am not Jewish, but I saw, uh, but, uh, I saw and felt for the first time a sense of the hate aimed at them. And I think that's why God's doing this, man. I really do think that's why, why God's doing this. Uh, for the first time, and again, I think this is why this is a barometer of of morality, right? For the first time as British citizen, I felt like I didn't belong in my own capital city. Well, that's... Uh, um, <laughs> gonna, but it's okay. The Metropolitan Police are on this, right? Uh, fastest growing terror... Uh, it's off guard here. Uh, terror threat is from the far right, please say. You are a brainless twat. Oh, okay. if that, like, you are a brainless fucking twat. You, you, you've never, like, really, radical Islam? No, that's not good. Really, what's the right? <coughs> okay, police have vowed to thwart the rise of the far right, which they have said be the fastest growing terrorist threat in the head. Well, what's your label saying chicks with dicks is a bit weird as far right? I guess so. Um, and they tried to stop race hate, apart from against Jews, that's all groovy, uh, from bringing violence to the uh, country's streets. Uh, Britain's top counterterrorism officer, the Met Assistant Commissioner Neil Bassel, said the most likely attempts will come from lone actors as uh, with uh, Islamist, uh, Islamist terrorism. Well, there was a whole sea of them before saying kill the Jews. Uh, where the authorities could not get uh, could not guarantee, uh, guarantee the for every plot. The guard understand that investigators have not only fa have found uh, leaks on far right material to on legitimate platforms such as YouTube that allow people again like like let's have some uh, um, uh, uh, examples maybe. A quarter of all terrorism arrests in the past year were linked to far right. That means it's twenty five percent. That means seventy five percent. Was not on the far right. That doesn't seem to be the majority then, right? <laughs> like, if it's not the far right, it's the far left, right? So uh, uh, that's 75 25. The far right claims so in counter terrorism police jumped 6% to 10% in the last two years. Again, that sounds like it's 90% far left. Okay. Reveals to, reveals to prevent the anti-radicalization program had almost doubled between 2016 and 2018 for the far... Again, it's the Trump years. It was Brexit. Everybody saw Nazis everywhere. Uh, you, I mean, like, what brainless twats? And, 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 okay, so let's tie this into a bit of genre and then we'll get to the chat. Uh, uh, you must be having a laugh. Yes, men in the thick of it were amongst the satire pros as flagged by beleaguered counter-terrorism prevent scheme uh, for encouraging far right sympathies. Yes, Minister. That's a dishes piece of shit. What? Yes, Minister. Not the new statesman. Yes, Minister. How? It said the works of uh, fiction were key texts to white national supremacy. Well, if you think yes, Minister is stirring up white supremacy, then you're a bonkers twat. Obviously. Right? Obviously. <laughs> Uh, the tax made of undocument included references to Lord of the Rings. Oh, that, uh, 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 yeah, that, uh, uh, you know, racism full of hate. Fuck me. Some of Britain's most popular sitcoms and greatest uh, works of literature were flagged as potential signs of far right extremism by a counter terrorism program. These guys are morons. The flagship prevent scheme, which clearly should need to be disbanded, right? Recent subject of the scathing audit singled out Congress. Yes, Prime Minister, in the thick of it, uh, and the 1955 war epic, the Busters. Are you? I mean, okay, that does have a dog in it called the N word, right? All bad is ah, I don't think that's going to. I mean, I don't know. And even the complete works of Shakespeare's possible rig flags for extremism. The complete works of Shakespeare. How dare they read Romeo and Juliet? Uh, um, it said the works were key. Uh, were key texts. For white nationalist supremacists. Uh, a report by Prevents Research Information and Communications Unit, RICU, which is ridiculous, R ridiculous RICU, described how far right promoted reading lists uh, on, 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 uh, on online bulletin boards. Is this MI5 doing this? Really? <laughs> to like present, to like, like the FBI do in America? 
right? Or is it MI6? I don't know. Uh, uh, and it reproduced the image being shared on a far right corner of the internet, and it listed important text under pictures of Nigel Farage, uh, former UKIP leader, and also like Nigel, Nigel Farage is I, like I've never heard him say anything racist. Uh, the text may have found a document included references to Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien, Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, Joseph Conrad, uh, The Secret Agent, 1984 by George Orwell. Uh, yeah, you want to take that out because that's certainly going to uh, uh, get people get people's uh, attention, isn't it? 1984. And in poems of uh, J.K. Chesterton, J.K. Chesterton, and reference films include The Bridge on the River Quite. Really? Because it's white people doing, you know, being heroic. Uh, the Great Escape, again. And Zulu. Okay, Zulu, you might have. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was against you. Zulu, you might, might have a point. <laughs> um, in it said the BBC's uh, Great British Railway journalist by a former Conservative minister. Michael uh, Patillo was the interest of the far right. You, you just bonkers. I mean, that's really the bottom line. You just, you're the freaking bonkers, darling. Uh, works by some of the world's greatest writers include uh, examples of warning signs uh, uh, such as including Shakespeare, Chaucer, Milton, Tennyson, Kipling, and Edmund Burke. Uh, the recent report even highlights the BBC's 1999 political thriller House of Cards, John Le Carre's several spy for. Tinker Taylor's one of five sharp and ITV drama set at, uh, the ITV drama set during the Napoleonic Wars. Inexplicably, it said the Great British Railway journey for a former Conservative minister, Michael Portillo, was an interest. Again, you're having a laugh, darling. This is crazy. I mean, how did they come up with this? Historian and broadcaster Andrew Roberts says that this is truly extraordinary. We see the reading list uh, of anybody who wants uh, civilized liberal cultural ed ed uh, cultured education. It includes some of the greatest works in Western canon, and some, uh, uh, and in some cases, such as Joseph Conrad's *A Secret Agent*, uh, powerful critiques of terrorism, Burke, Huxley, Orwell, and Tolkien over all anti-totalitarian writers. Well, that's probably why they don't like them, right? Uh, uh, the Bear Wolf, Canterbury Tales, complete works of Shakespeare, Paradise Lost of Four Feathers, Lady Hamilton, uh, the Town Bus, Riddle of the Guy, The Great Escape Zulu, Civilization, Ticket Taylor, Soldier Spy, House of Cards, Sharp, uh, Ray Miz, uh, Bushcraft Survival, and Davis Dark is Monarchy. Okay. Uh, Mr. Murray wrote in the Spectator magazine a number of books are singled out, uh, the possession or, or reading of. Which could serve a uh, severe, uh, which could point to a severe wrong thing, and therefore political radicalization. It seems that the RC, uh, RC, uh, RICU is so far off track that it believes that books identify uh, the problem that it was itself set up to tackle are in fact the problem. Uh, he concluded that the RICU's work was uh, pathetic and called uh, for accountability for the errors. Uh, sacking by the score. Yes! Oh, absolutely. Sacking by the score. A list of the mode of uh, uh, following a major review of the prevent scheme by William Schiller. Uh, five. House of Cards screenwriter Andrew Davis said, it's almost like a joke. House of Cards is a satirical view of right-wing politics. It I, I know. It's crazy. Right? That I mean, that is literally Captain Cray Cray. Right? That is bonkers McBonkers. My name's Vila Beck in the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. <laughs>